So I'm here with the team from the University of Washington at the uh, student cluster competition at SC19. I was wondering if you could tell me about your experience. Was this a positive experience overall? Yeah, it was a super positive experience. Uh, we got to travel, we got to meet all kinds of new people, industry professionals, and we got to go out of our comfort zone. Like none of us had any HPC experience at all, except for Andre, who is our senior, our, our leader on the team, our spiritual leader. So we learned a lot uh, during this experience, and uh, we, we struggled, and we, we struggled through it as a team. Yeah, but uh, at the end, I think we went through it all together as a team, and we expected a solid results. So what were some of the struggles? Well, we came without a rack, <laughs> and we learned that we'd be disqualified if we did not have our cluster in the rack by <laughs> Monday of 9.30, so... The spiritual leader, Andre, had to find the rack on the Craigslist or <laughs> on at Facebook, Facebook market. Marketplace and then uh, drive to Boulder to get the rack for $100. Yes. Uh, but uh, everything turned out to be all right and we have our rack and we're not disqualified yet <laughs> so far. That's amazing. So for those of you that didn't have any HPC experience going into this, what convinced you to, to join a venture like this? First of all, supercomputers are pretty awesome. They are. So I wanted to learn a lot more about it. Also, this just seemed like a pretty cool competition experience. There's not that many competitions that are that take place for most of a week. And also, there's not that many competitions that allow underclassmen to get involved in supercomputing, let alone at the world stage. Who were your primary sponsors for this? The primary sponsor was AWS, and we had secondary sponsors in... Mellanox, Intel, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, who provided eight um, Tesla V100s for us to use. Okay. And Mellanox provided the InfiniBand <laughs> to connect our two nodes together. And Intel, in, Intel and AWS teamed up to give us uh, money to cover the rest of the hardware. Why did you all choose CentOS for your base operating system? Well, I think one of the primary reasons why we ended up going with CentOS is looking at last year, Virtually every team used CentOS in the competition. So we knew right away that there was a reason for that. And part of that reason was very likely due to stability, compatibility. And after figuring out what some of the applications were, we also found out that some of the applications were only guaranteed to work with CentOS. Okay, I didn't know that. So apparently they tested on only CentOS. Yeah. So might as well not make it harder on ourselves and try using something different. Thank you all for your time. Good luck when the results come out. Sure, thank you so much.